I just think the man's a fool all round, really, and I just think he should be out. He should be out. Um, he's not done the job properly, has he? I mean, it's not, it's, it's not an easy job to do, I must admit. I mean, I wouldn't like to be in issues when the lockdown started and all this started. But um, if you can party and no one else can see the family, it's just not on, is it? You wouldn't, um, wouldn't not want anyone to have a birthday cake, but the fact of the matter is he's telling all us to make sure you're washing your hands while singing happy birthday and all of them are actually singing happy birthday to him. Um, other people have been doing it through windows to care homes and over FaceTime, but the rules don't apply to Boris, apparently. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, you know, he's, he's having, it, it's just solidifying the fact that it was a gathering that wasn't work-based. I mean, you don't have a cake, at, you know, sort of a work gathering, not a birthday cake anyway. So it's just solidifying the fact that he's lying to everyone that is essentially not um, doing what he was setting the rules out for in the first place. He's actually going against his own rules, which is making basically a mockery out of the public. We just want the truth, which I think we know the truth, but obviously we need it in black and white to say it. And if it is true, I don't think he should be Prime Minister because no one is going to listen. And it's a shame of what he's done now because he was a good Prime Minister. Things we asked for, he did. But by not listening to the rules, what he made now, he's ruined it all. He's just ruined it for himself as well as the country. No, he, need, he needs something needs sorting, doesn't it? Because he, he shouldn't be being Prime Minister if he's doing stuff like that. It's one rule for him and a, a, a different rule for everyone else.